Hello, welcome to my Jane TBR. I hope the weather is nice wherever you are. Right now it's the beginning of summer where I live and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I just feel so much more in my element when the weather gets warmer and I have some great reading plans for June. So the first book I have to talk about here today is actually a carryover from the end of May and that is To Ride Hell's Chasm by Jenny Wirtz. And this is a very special book to me for many reasons. One being that I picked up this signed edition at the ICFA conference back in March in Florida. That was when I got to meet some wonderful people in person, including Alan from the Library of Alexandria, Philip Chase, Jimmy from the Fantasy Network, A.P. Kenevin from A Critical Dragon, Steven Erickson, author of Malazan Book of the Fallen, as well as Stephen Donaldson. And actually, the way that I met Stephen Donaldson is I had just bought this book, I set it down on the table. He came up and picked up the book and was looking at it. So I got to introduce myself to him and he said that this was a very good book. And so that was one reason that this book is so special to me because of that experience. But another reason it's special to me is that I'm thoroughly enjoying this book so far. I'm just past the halfway point and I'm loving the writing style. I'm immersed in the story. The character work is fantastic. The world building is incredible. If this is any indication of what Jenny Wirtz is like as a writer, then I am all for it. I am very much looking forward to getting into her other books after this. This has just been a phenomenal read so far. And a third reason it is very special is that I was invited to a live stream that will happen on June 11th at 2 p.m on Philip Chase's channel with Philip, with Jenny Wirtz, and with Blaze from Under the Radar Books podcast. So that is going to be a very special event to get to discuss this book with those three. And if you would like to join us in the chat, because it will be a live stream, please consider picking up the book between now and then. There's time. I'm really enjoying it though, once again, and cannot be more excited about discussing this book once I finish. So that is of course the first book that I'll be completing in the month of June. The next book that I'll be picking up in the month of June is Fight Club. Now I have some mixed feelings about this. I am picking this up for a couple of reasons. One is that I was gifted this from my cousin for Christmas and it's a very special book to my cousin so I want to make sure that I take the time to read it because of that. However, I will be honest in saying that I watched the movie to this years and years back. I think it was in theaters at the time when I watched it, and I did not connect with the movie at all. All I remember is that the number one rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club, and it's about these men who sort of fight each other to get out all of their uh, repressed anger or something that society has repressed, I suppose. And I just don't really, I don't know, I didn't connect with it personally. I don't have the best memories or associations with the book, or with the movie I should say, but I do want to go into this with an open mind, uh, especially knowing that so many people consider this a favorite book of all time. And this is also a favorite book or movie of Angie's, Bookaholic Brown Nymph. I know she loves the movie actually more than the book, but she got very excited to see that I was gifted this for Christmas. So we'll be buddy reading this book together. And I told her if I end up enjoying the book, then I may rewatch the movie. So that may happen. In any case, I do want to go into this again with an open mind. It, it's always an honor to be gifted a book that is so meaningful to the person who gifted it to you. So I do want to give it a shot and it is fairly short. So that is definitely a high priority for June. And the third book that I'll be picking up in the month of June, which will likely take me the rest of the month, honestly, maybe even go into the beginning of July, is Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. And I am loving the Farseer trilogy so far, in case you couldn't tell from my Assassin's Apprentice review. And I had a wonderful live show discussion on my channel on Friday night, the replay is now available if you want to check that out with some lovely people. I'll be talking about that again probably in my wrap-up, but I'm enjoying Robin Hobb's writing style, her character work, her world building, just everything about this series. And so I'm very much looking forward to completing the Farseer trilogy this year. 
I don't know if I'll start live ship traders this year or wait till next year, but in any case, I'm just so excited to have finally gotten to Robin Hobb this year. So what a special, special experience. And it's the perfect timing for me too. I feel like I picked up Farseer Trilogy at the perfect time in my life. So I'm so grateful for that. Now that leads into some books that I might read in the month of June. And one of those is a, actually an audiobook that I started in May, but I've been really struggling with the audiobook format. And that is The Wind Through the Keyhole by Stephen King, book 4.5 in the Dark Tower series. And I've been loving the Dark Tower series so far. I love the character of Roland. And so I really want to enjoy this book. But for some reason, the audiobook just isn't working for me. It's narrated by Stephen King, and usually I would think that's a huge bonus to have a book narrated by the author. However, it might be just that I'm not in an audiobook mood right now. I just sometimes go through phases where I'm not really interested in listening to audiobooks. I'm more interested in reading visually. So that could be it. And I am listening to this through Scribd. And I do have access to the ebook through Scribd, so I may switch formats once I finish either to Ride Hell's Chasm or Fight Club. But I do want to continue on, obviously, in my journey to the Dark Tower, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And I do have, a, actually speaking of audiobooks, if I do find myself in an audiobook mood in June, then one audiobook I would really like to pick up is Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. I've been hearing wonderful things about this book from Books with Brittany. I know there are some mixed reviews about it from people I follow on Goodreads as well, but I still want to give it a chance. It's about these four young people who are in and out of relationships with one another, go to Europe, are trying to find themselves, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure about all the details, but it's something I would really like to try via audio. And another audiobook I might try, though I'm not entirely sure yet, is Boy's Life. And this book is often compared to Stephen King's writing style because of the coming of age trope and how well it's executed with young sort of realistic male characters. So I might pick that up at some point, maybe via audio, but I hear that uh, Baron from Your Brain on Books loves that book as well as Mike from Mike's Book Reviews. It's a slice of life book. I find that slice of life books work really well via audio for me, whereas fantasy is a little bit more tricky, usually a lot more tricky actually. So those are some options. Other books I might want to get to in the month of June if time allows, which it probably won't, especially again given Assassin's Quest, but I've been in a bit of a sci-fi mood and wanting to return to the Dune world, so I may pick up Children of Dune if the timing works out and the ebook hold that I've been having through my library for a long time comes in. Now, it did come in a couple of times the last month, but every time it comes in, I always have to do the deliver later option because I'm always in the middle of something. But I really want to continue on in the Dune series, at least with that book and God Emperor of Dune. I think that's the fourth book. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. And so I'd like to continue that journey. And uh, another book that I'd like to get to, if time allows, which again, it probably won't, is Sharp Ends by Joe Abercrombie to continue on in the First Law World books. So I'll be talking about Red Country in my wrap up, but just to let you all know, I did buddy read that with Overly Average Ben, and we will have some kind of a discussion, maybe a live stream, not sure yet. We still need to work out the details and timing of that, but if you've read Red Country, you should definitely check out our video on that whenever that comes out. And so those are all the books I have on my radar for June right now, and we'll see if I can get to those. Priorities, of course, are going to be to ride Hell's Chasm. And again, I really hope that you will consider joining us if you can, if you have time to pick this up between now and June 11th, because I just think this is going to be a delightful read for many readers especially for a standalone fantasy. I think it's incredibly rich. So I highly recommend it so far. I'm not finished yet, but again, I'm just loving my experience. So those are all the books. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books, if you recommend any of them or any thoughts on anything I've shared. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.